Thank you very much. Sitting in with Jeff Rood from Golf Week Magazine and John Hawkins from Golf World, I'm Vince Gelini. And Tiger Woods had his pro-am at the AT&T National on Wednesday, playing alongside Tony Romo, Cowboy quarterback in Redskin territory. John, who would you like to see Tiger play in a pro-am? I got two guys, Barack Obama, simply for the, for the news punch there uh, worldwide, and me. I went four hours with the guy, five hours with the guy, without eight people jumping on top of me. Yeah, I'd like to see him play with Phil, VJ, and Sergio. No, kidding. Uh, Angelina Jolie, does she play golf? How about Angelina Jolie? How about Nelson Mandela, the most important living person who Earl wanted him to be bigger than? How about with Jim Brown? Probably the, <laughs> the only guy who couldn't intimidate on a golf course. Could he break 80 with Jim Brown standing <laughs> that's next good, to him? Now, that's, that's a good question. Moving on. Uh, this week. The groove changes are going to go in effect on January 1, the USGA making that change, and the PGA Tour complying. So what does this mean for the casual golf fan? Jeff? That means two things. For the PGA Tour, it should, in theory, put more premium on driving accuracy, okay? And uh, also, with the, uh, it's going to affect the amateur, the elite amateur in 14, and the rest of us in 2024. It has no effect. I mean, it's, Come on. it's, uh, it's an inside baseball rule for tour pros only. Yeah. And... Uh, won't affect the guy yeah. at home. No, it's going to make so, the game harder for us eventually. Well, the average guy will still be terrible, no matter what the grooves. Okay, moving on. If the season ended today, we'd be shocked. But who would be your player of the year, John Hawkins? Well, I'd, wanna, I'd ask the wave, but uh, you guys want an answer. I say Tiger only because he has a, a stroke average, a half a stroke lower than anybody else on the tour. Bunch of guys with two wins, Tiger has the lowest stroke average. Yeah, to probably Tiger, but it's incomplete. You can't really even say it means nothing, what, whatever we say right now, because the majors have been won by Glover, Cabrera. we got two more majors left. The fact that there are about ten candidates for it says a lot. Well, I don't have one a candidate. Brian right, this year a needs to get on its horse. Yeah, absolutely. Man, this is, uh, yeah. Grey Goose 19th hole, 8 and 11 p.m. Eastern on Wednesdays. Back to you.